Laura Caldwell from Chicago, but I'm an alum here and I'm in our city to read for my book Long Way Home at Prairie Lights. I think readers most often put to me, and I would guess a lot of authors, um, how would I write my book? Because everyone has a story in them, and it is true. And um, so it's kind of interesting for me because as an author, you listen to people tell you their lives. If you can help them, you help them. Most people, I don't know if they'll ever write a book, but it's kind of fortunate to be on the side where people are asking you and then telling you their life story. I don't need a quiet place. I mean, it's preferable, but I could write on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I really could. Um, and I think I got to that point because when I started writing, I was also practicing law. So, you know, you're trying a case and you just make yourself do 10 minutes when you get home or you're flying to take a deposition and you get some notes taken. So I got used to so writing on the fly oh, then um, that I didn't, uh, I just didn't think that you had to have this little cave-like dwelling. But I do have now, um, I have a penthouse room in my, at my townhouse. So you go up and there's a, a deck in a room that has no facilities or anything else. And I just have my table that I work at and my little laptop. I mean, I would like to say that, you know, I travel and that's how I recharge my batteries. But to be honest, every time I travel, you realize, wow, this world is fascinating. It's not all just me and, you know, what's going on in Chicago. Um, I mean, I know that obviously, um, intellectually, but when you travel, which I always think is like, okay, this will be my time when I'm just going to turn the brain off. And then you go somewhere. I went to Malaysia this past year and you're so utterly aware that you're not the only person, that your family isn't the only family, that your country isn't the only country. You just start being aware of everything. And then I start writing. When I first started writing, it was stuff like here and before after referred to as because I was trying to weed out the legalese. Um, but now I'm always trying to get out that. If you look at that, you really don't need it all the time. So um, what's an example? A lot of times if you take that out of the sentence, you don't need it. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the work that I've been doing with um, people who were wrongfully convicted and then found innocent, I wrote a nonfiction book about someone um, like that. I work with people on a regular basis at Life After Innocence, and I'm finding that this innocent stuff is really kind of coursing through my fiction. I'm writing four more Izzy McNeil novels, and I just keep finding that, that question of innocence, not just in a criminal world, but also just through anybody's life. I just keep being fascinated with the concept of truth. And obviously, sometimes um, everyone's truth is different. Well, funny you should ask. Um, I've never really voiced this, but um, I do have a trilogy. It's this character, Izzy McNeil, and the first one's Red Hot Lies. Um, we're picking it up. We, we literally package it as a trilogy. Now we're picking it up again, and I'm going to write four more. Um, and it's mostly Izzy in the first person and other people um, in the third. So you get a couple other character viewpoints. Um, I keep thinking what I would love to do is all of a sudden just switch the whole thing. Instead of being Izzy first person, suddenly have the next book and not really spin these characters off necessarily, but tell the next chapter of the story, but from, say, her best friend Maggie, who she works with or now her boyfriend, Theo, who just got arrested. So I don't know that I'll ever do it, but that kind of fascinates me to, to write a series and each book be from someone else's standpoint. So it's not the same story, but it's just somebody's different retelling of the next chapter. I, I always felt weird calling myself a writer because who am I? I'm just working on a book. But Finally, after about three years of working on it, I thought, okay, well, I'm not an author, and this is just my definition, but as I started writing, I thought, I'll call myself an author, 
if I get published. But right now, I'm going to grant myself the ability to call myself a writer. I've been doing it for three years. I really love it. I can't imagine I'm going to quit. And I may never get published, but I am writing. I'm a writer. So I still call myself now a writer or an author. I even allow myself novelist on occasion because um, I feel okay about it now. But I, for some reason, for me, I needed this little built-in like graduation system. Mm -hmm.